Hey everybody, Music Power 1103 here, reacting to Gordon Runs Dry UK and US. So let's start and hope you guys like it. Gordon Runs Dry. It was a hot, sunny day on the island of Solu. Thomas was making his way to Knapford Station with Annie and Clarabel. The fat controller had asked Thomas to work on the main line pulling the local. But first, he needed to fill up his water tank. Gordon was waiting for Percy He's to bring his coaches so he could pull the express. Where are my coaches? I shouldn't be kept waiting. <laughs> Maybe you should fetch your own coaches, Gordon. Ha! Big engines like me don't fetch their own coaches. I pull the express, the most important passenger train on the island of Sodor. Local trains are important too. They are. Local trains are too slow. They stop at every station. The express only stops at big, important stations. At last, Percy arrived with Gordon's coaches. And Thomas went to the water tower to fill up his tanks. Make way for the express! Paxton was hurrying down from the Blue Mountain Quarry careful, with a Paxton. big load of stone. He didn't know that Gordon was approaching from the other direction. The signal changed to red just as Paxton was approaching. Oh, stop. He had to stop very quickly. You should have paid attention. Express coming through! A big stone Yikes. flew out of one of Paxton's trucks and bashed off Gordon's boiler. There's a Sorry, hole Gordon. in his boiler. Are you okay? That stone gave you a nasty thump. Yes, Paxton, I'm fine. You, you can't, can't damage, damage a big, big strong engine, engine like me so easily. You should be checked for damage, though, Gordon. Nonsense. I have to hurry. The express must not be late. It must and be late. Gordon hurried on his way without waiting to be checked over. That's bad. Gordon hadn't gone very far when his boiler began to run dry. That's funny. I thought I had plenty of water. Luckily, there was a water tower just ahead. I'd better stop and fill up again. But he the has passengers were there. not very happy. They didn't want to be late. Gordon hurried on his way as quickly as he could. But he hadn't gone very far when his boiler felt dry again. I can't keep stopping for water or I'll be very late. I must think about something else. So Gordon decided to see how many stations he could think of. Let's see. Tidmouth, yes. Knapford, Two, Crosby, three, Wellsworth, four, Marron, five, Cronk, six, a lake. Oh. Water. But then he passed the lake. He started Ducks. to think about needing water for his boiler. Mustn't think about it. Must keep going. This is the express. Next, Gordon passed the stream. A rushy he one. could hear the lovely watery sound. <laughs> so he whistled very loudly to take his mind off it. He has a hole in his boiler, that's the problem. But when he came to the next water tower, he had to stop. I bet. The passengers were very cross. They were saying they thought this was a fast train, not a slow train. He has a hole in Gordon his boiler. Gordon needed water. His boiler was almost empty. Sit back, everyone. I'll be very fast now. Just you watch. At last, Gordon arrived at Wellsworth Station. One stop. He stopped to let passengers on and off. You're running very late today, Gordon. Late. Oh, I'll make up the time, Henry. You'll see. But no sooner was Gordon out of the station than his boiler started to feel dry again. I mustn't stop. I mustn't stop. 
I need to be fast. I need to be fast. Then be fast. Gordon saw another water tower. Better stop. But this time, he didn't stop. That's bad. Water leak. The next train will not be stopping at this station. Please stand well away from the edge of the platform. Express coming through! He's going so slow. Gordon tried to keep himself going. Hurry! Hurry! Express coming through! But he yes. simply didn't have enough steam. Or and water. soon he couldn't turn his wheels at all. Thomas was That's chugging bad. happily along with Annie and Clarabel. When he noticed a wet trail on the track, I wonder what that could be. Gordon was then deep in water. Thomas saw mm. Gordon standing up ahead with the express. What's the matter, Gordon? Why have you stopped here? This isn't a station. I've run out of steam. Oh, you must have a leak in your boiler. I saw a trail of water on the line. A leak in my boiler? Yes. How could that happen to a big, strong engineer like me? The stone. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Gordon. Then Gordon remembered the stone. Yes. Gordon had a hole in his boiler. Uh huh. Where the stone had bashed him. Oh, the indignity. That's bad. I should have listened to you, Paxton. Better be I fixed. should have been checked over after the stone bashed into me. You should have. Well, yes. Don't worry, Gordon. I'll take your passengers. I may not be as fast as you, but I have a full boiler. And I can shunt you to the steamworks, Gordon. I may not be as fast as you, but I am very strong. So Thomas took Gordon's passengers in Annie and Clarabel, and Paxton shunted Gordon's empty coaches onto a siding. Then Paxton tried to push Gordon, but Gordon wouldn't budge. Brakes um, off. Gordon, have you got your, uh, brakes on? Maybe. Well, take them off, won't you? How can I push you with your brakes on? Gordon was very proud. He didn't want to be pushed. But if Gordon didn't let Paxton push him, he wouldn't be going anywhere at all. Uh huh. Oh. So Gordon took his brakes off and let Paxton push him to the steamworks. Everyone was very surprised to see Gordon being shunted along the main line. He wasn't a very fast engine now. Oh, the indignity. Gordon arrived at the steamworks to have his boiler repaired. Soon he looked as good as new. Better. But the other engines still thought it was funny that Gordon had let his boiler run dry. Don't forget to fill your tank up, Gordon. Steam engines need to have water. And uh, watch out for flying stones. <laughs> yep. Gordon was not amused, but he was much more careful about looking after his boiler. Nice.